I'm gonna see if that even holds. What's up, collective? How are you all doing? I hope you're keeping warm because it's freezing balls out there today, okay? So, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna. Welcome to Gemini, Gemini Line Gate Port 888. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys, okay? When I say guys, I mean ascending masters, uh, spirit animals, and all the good stuff, okay? I already cleansed, smoked out the place, but I'll do some cinnamon. Some cinnamon here. Okay. Remember, these are general messages. Keep that in mind, okay? Um, so only take what... Bills, we all have a familiar story, not a similar story. So if I say the color blue, you might have blue eyes, but the next collective might have blue hair, okay? Again, that all being said and done. Owie. All right. Um, another way. I'm going to warn off any evil with the cinnamon, any heavy projection, word curses, black magic, anything that could affect this reading, my pendulum, um, my cards. I ask to go, Archangel Michael, please, can you send back to sender times 10? Can you also keep the collective's energy protected in their family? Thank you. My son, he's all laughing. He's watching old cartoons. I do have a uh, mother that I take care of and, you know, a child that has a lot of needs more than others. Um, just as you know, sometimes I have to periodically walk away. This is a channel for my single moms out there. You know who my, you know who I'm talking about, okay? Um, all right. So thank you for people that have been viewing my channel. Like, you don't even know how much I appreciate you guys. Um, viewing my channel, your your likes, your comments, um, people that have subscribed to my channel, okay, like, makes me happy. Thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Um, if you're new here, no, I don't need you to press the subscribe button to, you know, collect on your energy, but it does help my channel grow, if you don't mind. I do personal readings. If you just want to message me at Gemini Line Gate Port 888, I can give you more information on that. Yeah, I knew it, you little stinker butt. Uh, 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 right, you were ready to take a nap, and now you're ready to be up, huh? Aren't you, little stinker butt? Yeah, I My son got like two hours of sleep collective. Okay, come on, you need to lay down. poor baby he's um I mentioned this before but my son's autistic but good news collective we're getting him up to Joseph hospital we're gonna get him the therapy that he needs so I'm just very blessed about that you know get him um working on his motor skills I'm like teaching him if, for all my um like you know parents that um you know are in my situation that kids that are you know um, autistic, uh, he has a hard time, like, people, well, people thought he couldn't hear, and it's not that he can't hear, it's just his brain doesn't, you know, connect with the delays, so, 
I just learned a trick from one of my parents that I play basketball and she told me to tell your you know to look at look at their noses look at their noses so I'm like doing working with him he's hella smart though like my kid is hella smart he just like he can count but he can't talk so but I'm very happy I'm happy that we're gonna get him the help that he needs I just feel so bad my baby he like only sleeps two three hours and you know that's not good Oh, baby boo. So I'm just going to make this a little short reading. Okay. Uh, I feel really, usually I don't do readings again in the morning because again, he's up and I hate leaving, but I feel like I got to get this message out. I feel like there's a shift in the air about something. Something's going on here. What do you guys think? Please tell me stuff that you guys feel like on the comments. Okay. As long as they're nice and you know. Tell me, what do you guys think? Do you feel like all my collective out there? Again, remember, energy energy could be past, present, and future. If you feel like, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe this is something that's going to happen in the future, but I can feel it in my bones. Is that funny? Is that funny? Your little look? Is that funny? Yeah, just let me know what you guys think, because there's something going on. And I got to get to the bottom of it. So let's see here, collective. What's going on with your energy today? I'm just going to roll the, the green and the red. I'm on, I'm, from now on, the red is always going to be someone else because it is. Okay. Remember, this is either about someone that's like either directly or indirectly involved with you. Okay. Six. Vertigo. Well, the opposite of a vertigo I just, I was reading this morning is a Pisces. Gemini. So I could be talking, you could be a Gemini or you're very witty. You're very, um, you're very clever. Have I'm talking to you? You're very clever. You're very smart. What's the word I'm trying to say? You're quick on your feet. So you're a type of person, like when a situation comes up, you think quickly, which is good. That's a good ability to have. You're very easy to talk to. You like to talk to people. Maybe you talk too much or, you know, you're very chatty, you're very, you're very personable. Someone is not doing well right now. Someone could be losing a lot of weight. They could be really sick, really stressed out. Why, spirit? Why? What's, what's this? What's this going to be about? Why is um, what's going on? Okay, because I got two dices. So, why is this person feeling sick, or what's going on with this? So I got Cancer and Aries energy, um, Leo together. So. Someone is um, not grounded. The fourth house talks about your ancestors, you know, a family situation. The Aries talks about like being independent, motivated. So you could have had a family, maybe a family member that's not doing very well. They're, they could be losing a lot of weight. They could be feeling very ill because uh, they're very, maybe in their ego, very exhausted. Six, seven, they could have messed with a relationship of yours. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with a social group. Aquarius energy. For sure, Vertigo, Aries, Cancer. So someone is sick because they were in their ego. And this is a family member of yours. This person is not doing well. This person, I feel like, is really stressed out because they could be out, you know, with their friends or something like that. But you know this. You're smart. You're thinking. You're thinking right now about something. What's the collective thinking about right now? Yeah, you're very ambitious. You're very um, creative. Okay, you're very confident. I cannot make this up. Gemini energy again. So I got Leo Gemini. A Gemini Leo. People think that I'm a Gemini Leo. I'm not. My The reason why I put Gemini Lion Gate is because I went through a spiritual awakening, like a huge one during 8-8, okay, 23. Like that was my, that's when I knew this is what I had to do. This is how I was like, oh no, I'm tapped in and I'm not going to let go. Once you're tapped in collective, you'll understand. Like you're like, mm -mm. I love having my subconscious up here in the, you know, 4D, uh, 5D, 12D, whatever world, you know? Some of you guys are, you guys are that tapped in. You guys tap into the 12D. 
a lot of us are, you know, more than just clairvoyant. We are mediums. We're empathic. You know what I mean? You could be very pure with pure intentions, with vertigo, you're healthy, you're doing well, you're doing everything right now that you're supposed to do. Whatever you do for pleasure, you talk, you communicate. It's like you are happy to communicate. You're happy to learn information. That's what you do for pleasure. I talk to someone that like reads and studies on their off time with the vertigo and Gemini energy here. Six. Leo, very happy, five, six, seven, eight. Scorpio energy, so yeah, you're tapped in. You're very psychic, you're mystical. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So like, there's a collective here and there's a collective over here. It's like, here's your collective and here's this person's collective. And you know, it's, ooh, three, three, three. That just rolled on my hand, three, three, three. You might be seeing threes a lot. Definitely talking to a Gemini, okay? Or you might have Gemini in your chart. 333, three, three. if you're seeing a lot of threes, okay, this is your message. It's so crazy because this person's collective is leading these people to be sick. Your collective, like say if you have a channel or a group or you're starting a spiritual, you're a spiritual leader here, your collective is going to be well off here, okay? I, I just rolled again. So 331. Three, so you're very driven, you're very ambitious. Like, this is so crazy. So, but this collective right here is, this is a family member of yours. Or this is a person that's leading a family into the wrong direction. Okay? I'm still going to look up 333. Let me go check my son. He's watching like, you know, remember the old cartoons that we used to watch like Popeye and Casper and Bugs Bunny and all that. So Angel, this is positivity, spirituality, mental peace and abundance. So you're driving your collective to abundance. Well, this person is not. This person is leading people in the wrong direction. They could be um, with vertigo energy. This person could be investigated because you're giving off information about this person. Or there's some type of information about this person? Hmm. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Something, uh, yeah, the justice. There's something being balanced out here. Karmic justice. The ju something legal. Because a like, Capricorn is obsessed with you. Again, this is a family member. Ten of Cups. This is someone obsessed with your energy. This is someone toxic as hell. The devil. So something legal is going on. But the justice system or the divine justice is going to take out this devilish energy. Whoever this person is, this person is super toxic. They're very obsessed. Okay, this person is sick. They could do black magic. They could do heavy projection. They're bound to something. Look at that. Look at those people. Burning in hell. Yeah, mental peace and abundance in your life. I feel like it's taking you a long time to get this justice, Collective. There's a shift in the air. Someone fucked up somewhere. Love, Moon, Neptune in reverse. Neptune talks about um, illusions. Someone is an illusion. Are these illusions are being blocked? Ah. Taurus, first sign, this is going to be my favorite little zodiacs. A Leo, very, you're the queen of the jungle, king of the jungle here. Scorpio.
Scorpio. I told you, you're very tapped in. You're very mystical. Okay? You're very, you're intuitive here. You have a high in, uh, intuition with a subconscious brain, and you're very confident about your intuition. You trust your intuition here. You trust your intuition. You know what you're saying about a low vibrational Aquarius who's not a humanitarian. This is that Aquarius energy over here with the 11. This is a group of Libra in reverse. So a Libra in reverse and an Aquarius in reverse did some type of injustice, something inhumane with a group of people because here you are tapped in like a motherfucker. I do cuss a lot, by the way. I'm very confident in what you're saying. You trust your intuition about this Aquarius and the Libra that are in reverse. Leo, Scorpio. And a Capricorn. So this could do about your job, your career situation. So you have an Aquarius, Libra, and a Capricorn in reverse. Because this Capricorn, well, the devil came out. This ca These people could be obsessed with you. They're not grounded. They're not stable. They did something illegal here. Two, okay, so yeah, you had a new beginning when it came to your intuition. You trust your intuition, and this is why you have a new beginning here. In the past, because you were stabbed in the back multiple times. So now that you're confident, people are still trying to betray you. They're still trying to stop you from having a new beginning here. Someone wants to end you, Leo, Scorpio. Like, someone's trying to block your new beginning by betraying you over and over and over. Someone wants to end your confidence here because they know you trust in your intuition. They know you have a new beginning because of your intuition here, because you're magical, because you believe in the divine, because the divine believes in you. So you have these motherfuckers trying to block a new opportunity here for you, a new beginning. But God already gave you this wand here. See, it's flying. This came from angels and God. They cannot take this from you. As much as these people want to stab you in the fucking back, they can't. Because you're too damn strong in your strength. Whoever this Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn motherfuckers are. What's this Aquarius doing in secret? This person is um, indecisive about a decision. Should I say, should I go? Because they lost... Ten of Pentacles. So an Aquarius lost an inheritance. They spend an inheritance. They, they lost it. So now they're wondering what to do about it. In secret. They're not letting people know that they don't have any money. This person could have, like, got a, into, like, an inheritance. Money. But not because they did it the illegal way. Because God is going to gift you. Because you're a giver. Or this person was gifted this inheritance. But they lost it. Now this Libra, why is this something's unjust in the challenge position? What's this uh, Libra in reverse? What is this? This person is trying to be happy, it's trying to cause challenges to your happiness, trying to make sure that you're not optimistic here so you don't enjoy life. The challenge is that this Libra can't do it now because they're unhappy or because you're happy. And now this Capricorn is exposed. Every What's this Capricorn in the environment? Everyone sees this Capricorn for who they are. A backstabber with this Aquarius and a Libra. I don't know if these are all, all these, are these people, do these people know each other? Is this, does Aquarius know this Libra? Does this Capricorn know this Libra? This is a family. This is like a group of witches, three of them. Yeah, Libra, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Take it how it resonates, okay? Now this Capricorn is being exposed because this Capricorn cannot rest 
this Capricorn is anxious because they were jealous of you. Oh, hell no. This bitch was talking shit about you, spreading rumors, the page of swords reverse. This person has been stalking you, talking shit about you, spreading lies about you. This person's a liar, okay? And everyone sees that this Capricorn can't rest, is uneasy, unhealed, because they were just talking shit about you. With this, this bitch is envious of you. Very envious of you, collector, this Capricorn. And considering they're in this environment situation, everyone sees them for the liar that they are. Everyone sees the jealousy in them. Everyone sees that this person can't even sleep. They could be losing weight. Stress the fuck out. Dum dums here. Because they're trying to cause challenges to a child or a happiness for you to be happy, happy in the sun. Look at the sunflowers, but you are connected to the divine. You're one of God's children. They cannot fuck with one of God's children, okay? This is why this person, ma'am, sir, whatever, lost an inheritance. They lost some type of money. God's like, nah, motherfucker, bitch, whoever you are, you're not going to get this money. It's gone. This person's not telling people. Now they're trying to do something here. The two of wands. Well, this Capricorn's being exposed for the liar piece of shit that they are. And this cat and this Libra can't sit here and be happy. Because these people betrayed you, Leo. Because you're confident. You're strong. You're ambitious. You're driven. It's the only reason why they came after you. Because you trust in your intuition and you had a new beginning here in the past. Come on through, Spirit. Thank you for that. These people are fucking ridiculous, all right? I don't know why I'm like, I just knew it. And I knew I was going to get hyphy, too. I was like, mm, there's something in the air. There's something in the air. Something happened. Something's going on. I wish I could just get into this body collective. Like, I wish I could just get in my son's body and just turn his little brain off, you know, because I felt so bad. <laughs> He'll be okay, though. I just feel bad because he doesn't sleep, you know? And I tried him out and told him, but it's like melatonin, but, um, you know, it was like, uh, I don't know. I know that's just going to be part of him, but I just feel so bad, you know, because he only got three hours of sleep. You can tell he's tired. Anyways, hold on. Enough about me. I don't want to get into my problems here. I just... Well, you know how your babies, like, your babies are your babies. But, again, I'm just waiting for the call from Children's Hospital so we can get that diagnosis and, um get him the help that he needs so you have these people these people left you for dead collective these people are backstabbers liars stalking you talking shit about you spreading rumors about you this capricorn is being exposed for that shit everyone see like this is just pathetic these people are pathetic leave with this ten of swords Look at you. Look at it. You're just laying here. They wanted to kill off your confidence, but they can't, huh, Collective? You're too strong for that shit. Motherfuckers. Get out of here with that, because you trust in your intuition. Cherries. 
Yeah, you got a sweet little cherry on top of your ice cream there, okay? It's like God is putting a little cherry on top of there. You could be, maybe your name is Sherry. Or Cherry, you could be 42 years old. Maybe your name is Cherry. Maybe you like Cherry. Cherries, I love cherries. They're really good. A cow, six. You could be a life path number six. So you're very empathic. Someone was trying to say that you're heavy? I don't know. Like this. Don't take your back. Why my poor baby collective? Ugh. Anyway, someone was trying to affect. I'm, you know what? I can't keep apologizing because this is just my fucking life, you know. Uh, anyways, someone was trying to um say that you were heavy. I'm getting a cow. Like someone was trying to. Someone could like say you're a cow. You're a cow. This person's an asshole. Like seriously trying to affect your confidence, trying to affect your self-esteem, so this person would call you a cow all the time. Ugh, disgusting. Watermelon! You like to, listen, you eat a lot of fruit here. I'm talking to someone that has eats 50. Even if you're in your 40s or 50, you eat a lot of fruit. You're very healthy here. You got something sweet coming. A Durain 46 someone could be a uh, well I live in a place where people grow watermelon like agricultural here what's a Durain I don't know what that fruit is I've never seen that <laughs> someone that likes to drink red wine the, okay so this Capricorn's a boozer 16 they could be born on the 16th see the little 16 on top 46, 50, 42, 6. So someone could be born June 16th. Um, what's a Durain? Durain? Someone's Durain? What's a Durain? What's a Durain? I've never seen this fruit. I've never heard of this fruit. Someone could be from like a different country. Okay, Durain. Where is this from? Not Durabe. Southeast Asia? From Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia. Yeah, the Philippines. That's what I was thinking. Someone's from the Philippines. Someone's an Asian uh, from the Philippines. Japanese. 
some ones have like oriental this libra could be have some type of oriental descent in them or something and this individual right now is being very challenged they're trying to stay happy they're trying to be optimistic about something okay these are thick usually dull black dark green in color uh, so this person is like um a dull individual You should not, okay, this, this is crazy because this is a Libra in reverse. Listen, if you dream of, or seeing or eating of a Duran, it often, or Duran, is it D Duran? It often means that you should not judge others based on first sight for you will never know what, yeah, someone judged you here. Whoever this Libra is and this person, because you're happy, look it. You're just a happy-go-lucky person and this person from Southeast Asia, common often in as symbol of mystics, but often spiky and tough outer appearance is a Persian and linger aroma. Everything around it, an indescribable, delicious flavor. So if you don't judge a book by its cover, that's what this means right here. Don't judge a book by its cover. Unpleasant memories. Someone has unpleasant memories here. You need to relax. My son is just... Uh, let's pray. Let us pray for my son, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you if you could help my son sleep better. That's why he could grow better. I know, you know, sleeping helps babies grow. So if you could just help him, you know, shut his little brain off once in a while. I just feel so bad for him. For all babies that are in my son's position, I ask you to protect their mothers and their fathers so they could um, have the strength to help them. And I know uh, people in our positions do, but... No. Okay. What, did you just throw a spoon at me, Brian? Little turd. <laughs> just threw a spoon at me. <laughs> anyway, someone was judging judging you here. Well, Capricorn is boozing. Everybody knows that Capricorn's a drunk with red wine. That they're a liar. That they're not healed. Because they're envious of you and this Queen of Wands energy. This is a very envious. Uh, what does a watermelon mean? I don't know if I'll even post this, but let's just go with it. I might post it, I might not. Let's just roll with it. Watermelon, watermelon. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting this, but anyway, there, that's something else. Goal of the spiritual path. The goal of the spiritual path is not always seek after extraordinary. Watermelon as watermelon. Solitary. Resurface of social media. 
Oh, so the free Hebrews fed on the manna only diet. Bridge barrier food gave up leaving Egypt. So God is saying that this road of spirituality, this Aquarius had a divine birth right here. This Aquarius had a chance here to, this Ten of Pentacles, I really feel like this is something that, this Aquarius could be gifted, but this Aquarius is losing this gift because they were too wishy-washy making a decision because they didn't want to go on some type of spiritual uh, journey because it was too hard. It's not an extraordinary, it's not a pretty journey, right, Collective? We've been there. Come on, we know. I'm still on this journey. We'll be till this journey until we're, you know, in heaven with our loved ones and our, you know, heavenly father. This person didn't want, this person denied this ten of pentacles here. This divine birthright, as Aquarius did. Well, that's on them. This person was calling you a cow. The cow means the cow here. I can't get this over. Someone was trying to call you fat or they would say, oh, you're a cow or this person is heavy um, to stab. But this is the thing. These people lie. They're like, this Capricorn like says this shit behind your back because they're nothing but a fucking coward. This Aquarius could have been saying it to your face. This Libra was just judging you for the, no fucking reason. As people like came together to f stab you in the back because you're too confident. They don't like your confidence. Try to lay down, Brian. Brian. I don't know if I'll post this, but we'll see. You should see some of my other videos. There are times like my dad comes in and talks to me. It's so crazy. And I don't edit. I don't like to edit my videos. I just let it ride. I'm like, fuck it. Let's just, I got to go take my mom's blood sugar. I change people's. I change my kids' diapers. I'm like. So it is what it is, you know? I really feel like I got to get this message out. But you got a sweet awakening with the cherry on top. Yeah, someone um, was your hater. Someone hated in the past that you trusted your intuition to have a new beginning because you know you have a sweet results awaiting for you. Okay. This person wanted to kill off your confidence by calling you a cow. These people wanted to make fun of your weight. Okay. Because you're a dreamer. You dream, you you believe that you have every option. Even if these people try to take every option that you had, you're like, okay, I'll just go on to the next one. Okay, or say if they fucked up a job opportunity. Okay, well, I'll just go apply over here. Or okay, this person doesn't wanna be with me, I'll go talk to this guy or girl. You believe in yourself here, okay? You're a dreamer. And these people wanted to kill this off about you. I don't know why. By calling, by affecting your, saying something about your weight. You know? So what's this Aquarius in secret is planning to take away your divine birthright. Maybe that's what that means. So this Aquarius in secret was uh, trying to take, planning, making decisions of how to take away your inheritance. Yeah, I cannot make this to cut you out of an inheritance. Let me say it again. To cut you out of your divine birthright. Two of swords. Someone trying to cut you out with the two with the with the two of wands. Someone literally in secret, it was a hard decision for them. They it was like a last minute decision, but they cut you out when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, whoever this Aquarius is. 
This person just at the last minute cut you out of inheritance. Is this a Ten of Pentacles actually money? Is this Ten of Pentacles actually money? Okay, so is this a is this a something that the collective is born with? Yeah. This is like something you work for like your entire life. Someone wanted to, I don't, this is so wild. Someone wanted to cut out your own divine birth right here. I don't know how. I cannot make this up. And an Aquarius, a low vibrational Aquarius. This individual, I don't know, but they didn't want you to have it. This, this is crazy. This Aquarius went the hardest at you. Yeah, this person wanted to cut you out out of like some type of Ten of Pentacles. Your divine birthright, something that you work hard at, something that's like given to you, something that God decided since you were born because they didn't want you to have a helpful future. This is an Aquarius that came at you hard in secret. This person is a fucking not nice individual. Mm -mm. Don't let this Aquarius into your life. They're, they're just... Yeah, they did that in secret. This is a fucking pussy ass bitch motherfucker. So now this uh, Libra challenge is like, you're too happy. You, they can't, they, ju uh, ju they judge you. That sounds like a low vibrational Libra. They judge you too quickly, not thinking that you would be this confident about your intuition. So you have a new beginning. These people are your major, these are your number one haters here. This Libra, Aquarius, and a Capricorn. Because you're building something from the ground up. You started you started learning something. You could have went back to school. You were studying something. You're very studious here. Okay, your page of pentacles is your, the student of the deck. You're learning something here. You're learning how to be happy. And this Libra cannot be happy. This is like a challenge for this Libra. What about this boozy Capricorn? <laughs> this Capricorn that drinks too fucking too much. That's a liar, that's unhealed, jealous of you. This person is not a master at their skill. So this this is crazy because this is in the out. This person wanted, went around telling people that you weren't qualified, this Capricorn was. So if you're trying to apply for a job, they're like, no, you're not qualified for it. But the people that, they're, that they told them this, they're starting to look at this individual because this is the explosion. This is like people seeing things, right? People that the, the, they said that you're not qual. They're seeing this person is very jealous of you and that they're lying about you because they're just fucking uneasy. They're un like they're like say if this person is at a job like and they're telling another individual, well, they're not qualified to work here. Well, they're now being looked into. They're like, why? Why are you making up rumors about this individual? Oh, because you're a jealous bitch? Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse. Very envious of you. Very envious of you. Like, bad. So you got your biggest haters hating on you. Knight of Wands didn't want to anti-hero energy here. Because you, I don't know what the cauldron means. I always feel like it's so you're cooking something up, or someone wanted to mix up a recipe here, mixing mixture. He just spit something out. Let me go see. Creativity, the rich broth, a surprising yourself. 
So you even surprised yourself with your own creativity here because look at a rich broth. You created a new beginning for yourself by listening to your intuition here, Scorpio. You transformed here. You had a rebirth, a spiritual rebirth here that gave you a new opportunity with the Ace of Wands. Okay. This is why this was like, this is why you got the cherry on top of the ice cream. Okay. These people hate that. They hate that you did this because you have a rich broth. You even surprised yourself. You're like, God damn, I didn't think this would happen. But cool. I'm creativity right there. Super creative with the with the Leo energy. These people are trying to end your confidence here by saying something about your weight. But you don't care. You still have a lot of options here with the Seven of Cups. I cannot make this shit up because you transformed. I told you I needed to do this reading. I don't care how much I got to go back and forth, back and forth. This is making sense. You transformed here. Transformation. This These people wanted to crack your whatever you concept. You see that egg right there? They wanted to crack your whatever you, this new beginning was. Whatever you created here, this um, Ace of Wands is something very creative. You could have started a channel. You could have started a business. It's something with creativity because your um, inspiration here. You had a new idea here and people listening to your intuition and this is like a rich broth of spirituality here and these people wanted to crack it wide open see that little egg but you see the pearl right there with the the seashell you have the pearl of wisdom you're fucking smart god gave you the strength here to listen to your intuition and you're wise this is why god's giving you all these options right now you had a spiritual rebirth for sure. And you transformed. Mask becoming play. Yeah, you started becoming. The mask came off. Almost entirely unknown English speaker. Someone's from Japan. She wrote bizarre stories about featuring of ghosts. The, now these people are being um, haunted. Her work is completely freak you out and provoke you with the fairy tale logic. And okay, this transformation here, fuck it. And the fact that you're so, um, by you transforming and bringing, this brought you a lot of options. And this is freaking people out. They're like, how the fuck did you do this? Okay, so I don't know, by calling you a cow and attacking your confidence, that would end you? That makes no fucking sense. You listen to spirit here. Like you're, this is like these people, you got a drunk, you got a person that judges too hard. You got a Capricorn that's a drunk, envious bed rumors of you. You, and that uh, tells people that you're not qualified or whatever you're doing. You have a Libra that judges you too hard because you're learning here. You're a very, you're a good student. You're listening. And then you have an Aquarius that wanted to cut you out of an inheritance uh, to make sure your future wasn't hopeful. Make it sense. Make sense here, right? But you had a spiritual rebirth here and you transformed. These people are like, how the fuck did you do that? Eating an apple. Because you... Yeah. Something about... Someone was trying to tempt you with sex. So you would crack the egg here, but you're too wise for that? This is Aquarius. This Aquarius can't endure anything right now. Endurance. This person cannot endure anything anymore because you rise from the ashes. Phoenix spirit here, baby. You, whatever you went with this Aquarius, okay, you endured it. You survived it. Five, six, seven. This is someone that you were in a relationship with, a marriage of some sort, okay? And this person tried to cut you out with the two, with the... Two of wands and the two of swords, they try to cut you out of some type of inheritance here. So you wouldn't have a hopeful future, but you endured it. This person could have been using voodoo dolls on you. Because you went, because you, you knew that this spiritual journey wasn't going to be pretty. But here you are rising from the ashes. And look, now that you're holding that egg, a new egg right here. Come on through. I know it. Like, I'm like, this is coming to me. Like, I'm going to post this. This is something I need to post. Like, for sure. Like, I gotta post this message. It's coming in for me so clearly about what this message is about.
staying with pain, avoiding pain, patience. Well, this person, this Aquarius, this person sits in their own fucking pain. Okay? Someone's name could be Anna. Was uh, celebrated during and beyond her lifetime for her lyric, melancholy, and poetry. Someone could write music. As Russia fell under Stalin, I don't know, someone could have Russian or look like a Russian. Her circle of artistic and intellectual were prosecuted of work. Her son was in prison and sent to labor camps. So someone's son could be going to prison. And her husband was executed. And the husband's going to pass away. Her most favorite is poem is Requiem. It's her a boldest attempt of capturing the... Okay, I'm also thinking of that movie, Requiem of a Dream. So there, this uh, Aquarius could have a, an addiction problem. Or is around people that are addicted. Take it how it resonates. This person... Is not healed. So their future is fucked. With the star in reverse, this person didn't want to heal. They wanted to sit in their pain because they wanted to cut you out of this ten of pentacles. Which was a hard decision for them to do, but they did it. They did this all in secret. Not so secret anymore, is it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. People are fucking ridiculous already. It's like this feeling of, when are these... Oh, well, these people's lives are in shambles. This one's being exposed. This one's a fucking drunk. Tree. <sighs> this Libra tried to get your Akashi records. Because they were learning that you're happy. This Aquarius and Libra could be together. I just thought about that too. Wisdom, good roots, and connection. This person started connecting, started teaching people. The challenge is that these people started connecting to teach people how to be happy. Or you are, and this Libra is all feeling some type of way about it. Okay, two, this Libra is very stomach financial gain. Four, Six, seven. I told you seven and seven. This Libra, Vertigo, it's not Libra, Vertigo. I know it is. This is becoming my reading. And this Aquarius are married or something like that. And these people were coming after you because they wanted to cut you out of inheritance. Spirit, is this um, Libra, that Vertigo, Libra, Cusper, that's been coming out my reading? And Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Well, kind of, sort of. So there could be, okay, so there could be a Libra on their own that was teaching people. We're connecting with people to challenge your happiness, your joy. This is a Libra. Her name could... Anna... I'll get some more names, okay? Yuka, Yum, someone has a Japanese name as well. Maybe a Russian's name. Maria, Sabrina, Sabina. But here you are healed. A Kunandetta. So a Capricorn. Went and told people that you're not qualified to be a healer? To be a Kunandetta? Or a Kunandetta told this Capricorn that they're not qualified for healing. What is that? Kunandetta's name could have been Maria? You're protected by the cougar and wolf spirit here. Oh, 
I don't see it. You know what I noticed? I'm missing a card out of here. The dark. I've never seen that one. I feel like some of these cards, some of these cards, so they, some of these don't have, yeah, that's okay. But anyways, healing. So somebody, um, this Capricorn is, who's a drunk, says that you're not qualified at whatever you do because they're a liar. They're being exposed for all this. You healed from this person. They said that you're not qualified to be a Kunandetta or something like that. I don't know, a healer? Or a healer said this person's not qualified to do something. I feel like this Capricorn lied to a healer. Do you see? Hi, Molly, girl. My dog's in here. Hi, Molly, baby. Lay back down. No, lay back down. No, I'm doing a video. Now you? No, it's too cold to go outside. Lay down, baby. Lay down, baby girl. Lay down. Um, lay back down, Molly. You want to get under the covers? You want me to cover you? I could cover you, baby. Come here, baby girl. Get under the covers. Come on. Get under the covers. Oh, lay down. Lay down, my Molly. Lay down, my Molly girl. You old puppy. There you go, baby. I'll cover you up. There. You're just a good girl. My puppy dog. My son, the power of prayer. Look, he's actually resting. Okay? Molly got it. Molly's my familiar. So she's letting me know something here. Something spiritual. My dog, Molly, she's a boxer. Yeah, she's looking at me. Huh, there's something going on, huh, Molly? It's okay, I'm okay. Yeah, she's my familiar. There's some, this uh, Capricorn started some type of spiritual warfare here. <sighs> For finances, they could have paid someone or they were trying to get some type of fan eyes. Fuck with your finances or something. This is wild. I never did my reading like this, like where I just went, like I mixed the oracles with the. But I like it like how I did this. Okay. So you had a new beginning here because you listen to spirit. You're very tapped in. You're very intuitive. These people hate the fact that. You created something here that's rich and spiritual, and you even surprised yourself here by doing this. Okay? Why are these people hating so bad on the collective's new beginning, and they're going to get a sweet result with the cherry on top? The nine of swords. These people feel guilty, or these people feel shameful, or these people, because you rest easy at night? These people with the, ooh, these people with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, these people really came after you, Collective. This is like vindictiveness. This is like, this is evil. This is bad energy right here. These people attacked you spiritually. They attacked you on social media, talking shit about you. They attacked your relationship. They attacked you every which way. Gemini energy. So again, they wanted you to not sleep at night. They wanted you to feel anxious about whatever you're creating here. Why? They wanted to walk away. They wanted you to walk away, whatever you're working here. And they wanted you, I don't know. They just wanted you to walk away from it. I mean, it's not really giving me why. Like... They just wanted you to walk away whatever you're working on in the past. Um, they wanted you to like, hold on.
they want it. These people are experiencing some type of deep like inner turmoil as a result of their mindset. And negative thoughts are taking over them. Because you walked away. Are the nine of swords, these, uh, this Aquarius and Capricorn and these other people? Yeah, these people are like, I don't get it. So you mixing up whatever you're mixing up and you listening to your intuition is leaving these people like in this type of inner, these people like, it was an idea, right? To hate you, to uh, conjure up uh, special recipes, right? And it like, this idea took over them to hurt you. It like, this got out of control. And now, and, and then someone walked away? What's the Six of Swords? They had someone walk away. Because they wanted someone to walk away from you? Or you, what's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, they wanted a partner to be physically and emotionally distanced from you. This Aquarius or whoever. And these people, it's like this idea with, okay, set aside these, um, you know, these uh, oracle cards, okay? Look. Okay. These people had this idea, okay, to hate you, to bring negative energy towards you, okay? This idea got carried away here for someone to walk away from you. It's like it, it got out of control with the Nine of Swords. Because you transformed it from the situation. Because you're confident. These people are like still trying to betray you. Still trying to end you and any options that you have coming in right now why like why they're still trying to end your options here why are they doing this still they got someone to walk away from you but it took over it took over here so why are they still wanting to fuck with the collective why Because you're free. You, you're you not mentally trapped in your head. It's like these plans to... This 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 is how they wanted you to be. But the, it, this took over their lives. Like them trying to end you, it took over their lives, collective. And here you are sitting free, not mentally trapped in your head. And you got all these options in the world. People could see you as an option. And these people are like stuck in... Oh. That cycle is closed. This cycle is closing out here. You already achieved, because you're free here, you already achieved everything that you needed to. Aquarius, Vertigo, Leo, Taurus energy right there. Very fixed. These people are fixed on you. It's wild. So after betraying you and ending you, you had all these options because you're free now. And you're achieving things here. You closed out one, two, three cycles. You closed out these cycles with these people. And now you have the world in your hand. This is destiny here. Someone's found their heart desire. What is the collective achieving now after this betrayal? You... You cheat, you knew how to walk away from these people. You knew how to walk away. Even though you, you had these eight cups here and you could have took a long time to um, build relationships, build a platform, build relationships with family members. You learned how to walk away from all these, all these people. Because you knew, you walked away from the bullshit. You walked away from uh, these people bullying you. You didn't fight these people. You just walked away. And this is how easy that was. Well, these people are stuck in turmoil. You you defeated a bully here just by simply walking away from the bullshit. And that's how you close the cycle here. 
And then whoever this Aquarius did that wanted to cut you out of some type of inheritance by calling you a cow, by not going on a spiritual journey with you to make sure that you didn't endure anything, but you did. What's going to happen for this Aquarius that did all this shit in secret? What's going to happen to this Aquarius that did all this shit in secret? Something's in light in here. A secret is. So this Aquarius here in reverse. Okay. This person that um, was very indecisive about this Ten of Pentacles. They got cut off an inheritance. Did this Aquarius get cut off an inheritance? Okay. Was this an Aquarius that cut the collective out of something? So this Aquarius wanted to cut you out of this Ten of Pentacles, a marriage, a happy life, whatever this is, okay? So you didn't have a, a hopeful future, okay? This is somebody that you're married to, or the high friend talks about, is this like a leader of a group? This person led a group of people, or you're leading a group of people. No, this is uh, an Aquarius that led a group of people. So these people's futures are fucked. Remember I told you someone's leading a group of people? Whoever this Aquarius energy is or this non-humanitarian person, this person that's not healed, that didn't want to heal in a situation with you, so they cut you out of inheritance or some type of ten of pentacles. This person got married and is coming out to light. This person got married and that's the secret. But with the Hierophant being on the upright, I feel like it's because this is like being enlightened. This is like the secret's coming out. Is a... The secret coming out about an Aquarius getting married? To get some type of inheritance? But their future looks hopeless because they wanted to cut you out in that of your divine birthright? What's this marriage here? This Hierophant energy. They could have got married to a Taurus, um, a Scorpio, or... Yeah, they don't want a marriage to end or they don't want this secret to come out. They don't... This marriage here, they Aquarius, something doesn't want something to end here. They're resisting change. They don't want something to transform. They're resisting death. They don't want something to end here. What do they don't want something to end? This marriage to end? Why? That just rolled all over, didn't it? Because they want, they were trying to win at all costs. They're trying to be victorious and secret here when it came to cutting you out of this Ten of Pentacles. So they married somebody and now they don't want something to end. And they're trying to win here at all costs in secret because they wanted to win at all costs. So what's going to happen to this Aquarius? This marriage is being exposed. They're trying not, they're trying to not something to end. They're trying, are they going to win here? Are they going to win? They could have got a mini victory. They could have with the Queen of Cups. This individual, this is a female that could be very depressed right now. Or is this the collective? Is this uh, this Queen of Cups the, the collective? Is this Queen of Cups the collective? Is this Queen of Cups the collective? Did this Aquarius marry this Queen of Cups? Why is she on the upright? This is a person that's masking themselves. This Queen of Cups. I feel like she's pretending to be you. She's pretending to be sweet and kind and loving, but she's not. I'm not getting that at all. Who's this, who's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Or who's this Queen of Cups? This is a uh, Earth sign. 
uh, low vibrational Taurus. I told you. This Aquarius could have married a Taurus or an Earth sign, a Vertigo, Capricorn, maybe that Capricorn. Because they're trying to win at all costs. These people were trying to, to bring destruction into your life. Pluto energy. This low vibrational Aquarius did. With a low vibrational fire sign. As well. They lack the direction. There she is. Vertigo. So I got a low vibrational vertigo, low vibrational uh, fire sign, low vibrational air sign, trying to bring destruction. Okay, so earth sign. Maybe an earth sign wanted to marry you. Is this queen, who is this? Six, 11? This is Aquarius. A group of people socializing. Why? Okay, these people are trying to win at all costs when it came to you. So this person got married to cut you out of an inheritance? So they could win? Now they don't want something to end? Or this Queen of Cups? But this, these people are feeling regretful. These people are crying. These people are in despair? This Queen of Cups doesn't want this marriage to end with this Aquarius. Because they're trying to win. But it has... This Aquarius is really... Or someone is releasing someone here. Something's being released here in secret. Because someone is in regretful right now. Someone right now is sad. They're looking at these three cups. Wondering like, what the fuck? Not realizing they got two cups behind them. Because they're resisting the change. Trying to win at all costs. So they're planning to do something here. What are they trying to plan? To bring something to a rest? To heal from the situation? They're going to work really hard at this too. Because they feel like they don't have a new opportunity. But they still want to save you. Because that you know everything. You're high priestess. Wow, okay. Let me break this down. Hold on. Okay. So this Aquarius sees... Okay, this Aquarius, okay, was very indecisive, but they made a choice. They don't like that choice, I feel like. To cut you out. They did this very blindly. They cut you out of this Ten of Pentacles, this money situation now they feel like their life is hopeless Aquarius energy again they feel like their future is hopeless here because of a marriage that they didn't want to end they didn't want a marriage to transform because they're trying to win at all cost with this queen of cups that they regret doing this with now everything's being released here so they're planning to put something to rest. They're gonna put the plant, they're gonna plant the right seeds here to do this. Cause they know they don't have a new opportunity when it comes to you. So now they want to save you. And you might intuitively, they're using their intuition now to save you. So this is Aquarius wants to help the collective. Yeah, this person cannot get over a heartbreak. It's like this person broke up with you and married someone else, but they can't get over the breakup they have with you. And now this person is regretful getting into this marriage and they want to help you somehow. How are they going to help the collective? They're going to return something to you. Because they knew that they sacrificed you. Okay, so what's this Libra's deal? This person that was judging the collective too hard, harshly. What's this Libra's problem? This Libra is defending themselves, working really hard. Or you were really hard defending yourself, defending your happiness here and whatever you were learning. You were planning. Yeah, to be happy. And now this, because this person was judging you. 
this Libra challenge, obstacles, this Libra or whatever, whatever this injustice is, is these people were challenged by your happiness because you stuck up for yourself. You started defending yourself because you learned a life lesson. So now you're working really hard to be married and have a happy ending here. And these people feel like you judge that you're judging them or they feel like they're being judged for this. Why? Why do they feel like they don't want to be judged by what? About a new beginning? Because they walked away. Now they're um, left out in the cold. Someone, someone's leaving this Libra. They're walking away to have a new beginning because they feel like this Libra is too critical. They feel like this is too judgmental, this person is. This is like a situation that whoever this Libra is with or whoever they're in a marriage with, this person, whoever their partner is with, they feel like this person isn't, like they did too much. So their person is leaving them out in the cold to go be happy somewhere else. What's gonna happen for this boozy Capricorn that says you're not qualified for anything? What's going to happen to this uh, drunk of a Capricorn that was very envious and spreading rumors about the collective? This person is a liar. I'm not, I'm telling you right now, this person, and this person is very confused. They're missing a piece of the puzzle here. And everyone sees it, that they're like delusional. Yeah, this person is losing a job. So this person says that you weren't qualified for something and now these people are saying that they're not qualified for something and they're going to get fired? They're going to lose a job? Yeah. They lost they lost their divine birthright as well. And they're going to they feel defeated. Everyone does not want to fight with this individual. This person is like this this boozy capricorn is like they lost their divine birthright. They lost any opportunity to have the 10 of pentacles. They're losing a job because they're lying about you. And they feel defeated. What's this 10 of pentacles? This person is going to have a lot of financial issues in the future. Yeah, because you loved yourself and you're healed. Everything is being restored back to balance for you cuz you overcame you overcame the situation where people were trying to cut you out. It's like this person could try to cut you out of a job. Now this person is losing a job. And everything's being restored back to balance you. And everyone sees it. Okay, give me some um, advice for the collective to end this reading right here. So, okay, things are getting serious. Someone wants to commit to you, collective. So, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, your pets are watching over you. You got a familiar that's going to make sure that someone commits to you. Okay. Oh, but someone only wants... To, okay, no, no, no. Listen, whoever this Aquarius is, don't commit to them. Your uh, familiar is telling you right now that this individual is a gold digger, so say no to them. They only want to use you for your money. That's the advice for you. Whoever that Aquarius is, say no to them. It's not the right time. Okay. Hmm. What's going to happen with this Ten of Swords situation, this betrayal? That cycle is closed, so don't worry about it because you walked away from it. What's going to happen with this Ten of Swords situation? Yeah, so these people are not going to be able to work together anymore. Someone's losing a job. They're not even talking to each other anymore. Yeah, whoever this Capricorn... No one wants to work with this Capricorn. No one's listening to this Capricorn anymore. They're like, bitch, you're crazy. Go drink your bottle. Yeah, they see this person as a liar. So now um, this person is breaking. This, like Whoever this Capricorn is with, they're, they're going through a breakup as well because they're seen as a bully. That, they're, that you're innocent. Ooh. Listen, this Capricorn was working with its Aquarius or maybe Libra. Okay, to betray you. But now these people don't want to work with this Capricorn anymore. Well, let's see. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? Whoever this gold digger is. Who's this gold digger energy? Who's this Cap or is this this Capricorn? A Cancer? 
and Aries. Scorpio, but they're all not upright. This is Aquarius. So you have a Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries. I don't want to work with this Aquarius anymore. Because they're a fucking liar. People see that they're bullying you. Challenge is that you're too happy. And now someone is this being left out in the cold. Okay, so you healed from this betrayal. Everyone sees it. Everyone knows about these betrayals. So these people are unhappy. They can't, they can't be, they're feeling uneasy about something. About what? Because they're being investigated. They know that people are looking into them. What's going to happen to this? these rumors and stuff? So all these re rumors are returning back to that Capricorn. People are asking, why are you saying this? Why are you doing all this? Why are you jealous of the collective? Because they are an empress in reverse. They wanted to be you. This Capricorn wanted to be you, but they can't. They don't embody abundance. abundance. They're not a good mother. So someone is not following their heart desire when it comes to this Capricorn. A soulmate connection is leaving this Capricorn out in the cold. They're not, they're like walking away from this bitch. Yeah, because they see this Capricorn as nothing but a gold digger or a selfish individual that just wanted to fight with you. And I'll leave it there. All right, Collective, I'm glad I got that message out. Please like, share, and subscribe. Huh, Molly, girl? Bye. Have a good day.